What's the difference between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic? Oh boy, where do I begin? So, before 2016, there was only one Ethereum, and it was just called Ethereum. And then there was this DAO, or this Decentralized Autonomous Organization, simply called the DAO. Now, the DAO was basically a decentralized project, and its objective was to raise capital to fund other decentralized projects. It was on the Ethereum blockchain, and because it was a DAO, no one was really in charge. And the code of the DAO was also open source, so anybody could look at it. So in 2016, $150 million worth of Ether for venture capital was raised by the community. Unfortunately, the DAO had the weakest security ever, and somebody helped them themselves the 50 million dollars and just took off yeah and no one knows who it was as you can imagine everybody lost their minds and at the time the DAO was holding about 14 percent of the total supply of ethereum now if you understand blockchain you understand that once something happens on the blockchain it happens you can't change it i mean it's not like they could just erase the transaction and make it seem like the theft never occurred <laughs> Or could they? Some in the community were like, blockchain is blockchain. We just need to bite the bullet and accept this theft and just move on with it. It's blockchain, it can't be changed. Like that's the essence of it. And some were like, nah, we're gonna do what's called a hard fork. A hard fork is basically when a blockchain has a new set of rules and it needs to start a new ledger. So it splits into a new one. Because when a blockchain has new rules and needs to make an entirely new cryptocurrency or a new ledger. And that's what they did. The original hacked Ethereum blockchain became known as Ethereum Classic. And the shiny new blockchain with the theft erased is what we call Ethereum. Ethereum Classic is still using the original Ethereum blockchain and back then roughly 10% of the community wanted to keep the original ledger. And as you can tell by the price difference, one is obviously more popular still. And yeah, that's why we have two Ethereums. 